Hey guys, it's Lego Boy C3. Today, I'm gonna solve this cube underwater. Okay, so today I'm gonna be solving this Rubik's Cube underwater, and so I have it scrambled up, so I'll inspect it for a little while above water, and then I'll put it down under, and then solve it while I'm underwater holding my breath. And so it should be pretty interesting. That was pretty interesting. I started off with a 22, then a 26, then a 27. So it got progressively a little bit worse. And there were a couple of factors for that. I think if I were to just solve this cube right now, not in the water, I could get a little bit faster than that. Maybe like 22 average uh, around my normal time. Just a little bit worse because this cube is a little bit worse. But I think it was a little bit harder to see the colors because I was in the water. And also it was a little hard, bit harder to turn because I was also underwater. And so I think those things affected my solving time a little bit. But it's interesting that I didn't just do it as fast as I possibly could, like no matter what, every single time, uh, because I was holding my breath, I actually did do it a little bit slower. So that's kind of interesting, but whatever, that's pretty much it for this video. If you like this video, you can leave a like down below to show me that you liked it. Stay subscribed to be notified when another video like this comes out. And also leave some suggestions down in the comments below for other videos that I can make like this in the future. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!